what do we got? John Rodriguez writes, hey, John, love the show and I watch it every day. You guys do an amazing job. I know you watched the Ronda Rousey fight. So my question is, do you think this loss will hurt her movie career or will it actually help it? We'll love to hear your input. Thanks and keep bringing the filthy. Yeah, wow. So we, um, as you know, we're MMA maniacs around here. At least Dennis and I are. And so we were out in Hollywood watching the fights. And th just bar none, uh, the, the thing about Ronda Rousey is no athlete has ever dominated the sport the way Ronda Rousey, ha Ronda Rousey has the last uh, a couple of years at any rate. Her last four fights combined, get this, wrap your head around this, Ronda Rousey's last four fights combined lasted two minutes and 10 seconds. That's how long her fights last. I mean, that's Tyson never came close to that. Like, that is just stupid kind of numbers. And so we go in and we're watching, and, and she has transcended the sport as a result. The most dominant female athlete in the history of sports. And she has transcended to the point that she's getting movie deals. She's going to be in Roadhouse. Paramount signed a deal for her to star in her own biography and all that kind of stuff. All predicated on this larger-than-life superhuman that we've been talking about in Ronda Rousey, despite the fact that she can't act. Uh, because she can't. And I, I'm a big, that's coming from a big Ronda Rousey fan. She can't act. But anyway. So, but you understand it because she has transcended entertainment. She's transcended sports. She's transcended everything. She's this huge icon. We're sitting, David was there, myself, uh, Dennis, a bunch of our, our, our people were there. And we start watching this fight where she's fighting Holly Holm, Muay Thai champion, boxing champion, undefeated mixed martial arts fighter. And she's great. And 45 seconds into the fight, I remember I turned to Ann and I said, Holly Holmes is going to win this fight. Holly Holmes is going to win this fight. And I, even though I'm a big Ronda Rousey fan, I, I always I got a special place in my heart for underdogs. So when Holly Holmes started landing those counter punches to Ronda Rousey blindly and stupidly rushing in, I started jumping up and down out of my chair. I mean, I was just excited. And when, she and when Holly Holmes delivered the big head kick, the highlight reel head kick knockout, I jumped out of my... We all did. I yeah, mean, we were, we I think we were all there to cheer for Ronnie, but by the end of that fight, we're all jumping up and down, <laughs> screaming and cheering, and it was something else. Now, uh, as an MMA note, the only reason Ronda Rousey lost that fight because she was an idiot. She decided to... Just forget the fact that I am a world Olympic medalist judo fighter, best <laughs> grappler in this thing. I My bread and butter is taking people to the ground and breaking their arms. She decided, no, I'm the best fighter in the world, so I'm going to beat her at her own game. Mm -hmm. Mistake. And she kept rushing in like a bull, getting cracked. Instead of stepping back, she kept chasing her. She fought like an idiot. Anyway, that all being said, for those of you who follow me on social media, you know about five seconds after that fight ended, I put out a tweet and a Facebook post that said, so much for Ronda Rousey's movie deals. Because I, and like you were asking in the question, uh, yeah, John Rodriguez writes in the question, it's like, will this hurt her movie chances? Look, <clears throat> Ronda Rousey was not getting offered movie deals because she's an exceptional, aspiring, filled with promise actress. She's not. She can't outact my shoe. I mean, we've been saying that forever. But... She is a mega celebrity because she has transit. She's this invincible being. And so she's the hottest thing. She's the biggest star the UFC has. And just three years ago or four years ago, they didn't even have women's MMA in the UFC. Well, there was women MMA all over the world, just not in the UFC at the time. Now she's their biggest star, their biggest draw. That invincible, transcending the sport iconic, nay, nearly mythological being known as Ronda Rousey is now just another fighter. Probably still the best in the world. And I fully expect that when she gets a rematch against Holly Holmes, she will fight a different fight. And I fully expect that she will beat Holly Holmes. But that being said, the imagery, the iconography, if you will, of this unbeatable supreme being who transcends entertainment transcends movies transcends sport who is just dominant over everything she's basically howard stern king of all media she's the queen of all media now she's just another girl who took a shin to the jaw and was lying bleeding on the ground and i cannot help but believe at that yes this is going to definitely affect this. This is absolutely going to affect this. 
I don't think people at Paramount are now scrambling around developing, we got to get this Ronda Rousey biopic made. I don't think those conversations are happening today. I don't know that people are now putting into high gear, hey, let's fast track Roadhouse with Ronda Rousey. I don't think anybody's too excited to get that movie made over there now because we're no longer featuring this transcendent, iconic, you know, supreme being. Now it's just another fighter lying bleeding on the ground. That's her last memory. Now, all that could change if this was Ronda Rousey's first Rocky fight against Clubber Lang and she can come back in the second fight and win, win in a dominant fashion, maybe that becomes a great story and maybe that puts everything back on track. I, don't, I have no insider knowledge on this, no insider information. But as a fan, I have to suspect that all them movie deals right now are on hold. I don't think anybody's rushing to make these things with Ronda Rousey at this point. Anyway, Schnapp, you, like, shock and surprise. You actually saw the fight. But anyway, yeah. understanding, you know, seeing the fight, seeing not just that she lost, but how she lost... For those of you who didn't see the fight, this wasn't like a fluke punch that dropped no. her. She was totally dominated yeah. from start to finish and left broken and, and bleeding on the ground. Yeah, I had how to go to the fight? hospital. How mm -hmm. do you feel, do you feel or think that this affects what was in motion with her aspiring movie career at this point? Well, I'll say this, like, you know, as, as a lot of people watch the show, no, I'm not a giant sports fan, but occasionally I'll watch, you know, different games here and there. I heard Ronda Rousey lost, so I went to YouTube and watched the fight. And seeing the fight, like obviously I knew she lost, but then when I watched, once they rang the bell, and you just watched her charging, and, and she kept getting those Muay Thai leg kicks. Oh, the leg like kicks, the leg the kicks, straight just, down just the middle. The she just cracked she, her because Rousey was just charging her, and I was like, if you just laid back, you know, I'm just saying I'm not the you know king of this UFC fighting stuff, but I was like, I, just <laughs> as a as a you know, oh, let me see what's happening, you know, viewer of occasional fights. I could see that she was doing something wrong, and this other gal was doing everything right. This other gal was like doing these stances, doing these moves. Uh, Rousey was dropping her guard, letting herself get kicked in the face, letting herself get kicked in the shins, because she was charging. Like, if I could just get her, if I could just grapple her, and then she did grapple her. She did get her to the ground, and it didn't work. And I think that's that, and she got punched in the face. And then the round was over, and then round two, decimated. She was surprised when she got that back leg kick. She was like, oh, what just happened? And then got kicked in the face. Mm -hmm. I mean, in that realm of fighting, I always knew she would eventually lose because that's what happens. You know, people win, 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 and they become, in everyone else's minds, invincible. But they're all just human. Every, all, every one of us is eventually going to lose. And in this sport, you eventually lose or you just retire. You know, one of the two. I mean, she's going to come back. She's going to fight Holmes again. Is she going to win? If she wins, will that put Roadhouse back on? Will that put her bio <laughs> back on? I'm sure it will. I mean, I think... I what don't, do you think is happening right now before that rematch? What do you think is going on right now I don't think the happens? bio is on hold. I think because of the way that she came out of nowhere and basically generated this like incredible sport. Like, you know, now there is a female league for UFC and she's kind of the, the, the apex of it, you know? Uh, I think that in itself is a story. Just being being undefeated for so long and having those fights, that's a story. I mean, eventually people lose in these games. You know, like you, you, the Bulls won for only so many games until they didn't win. You right. know, so you have streaks in all yeah. sports where people are like, man, they're unbeatable. The team is incredible. The team is cracking. The team loses. I mean, when it's an individual like this, she got overconfident. All of you guys who watch the show all the time, you know, you knew her fighting skill. You saw the overconfidence, and you said you called it. She's going to lose. Yeah, because you could you tell saw, 45 seconds in that fight, you could just tell. We, we were all saying at the table, mm -hmm. she's going to lose this fight so unless she changes tactics. I don't, I don't yeah. think it's going to affect her two current films. I don't think. I think they'll move forward with Roadhouse because she's still a name. And just because she got beat up in this one match doesn't mean all the people who love Ronda Rousey aren't cheering for her to get that rematch to win again. And even if she loses again, maybe she'll win on the third time. I don't think she's out for the count by any means of the, the imagination. I think it's more like you screwed up. You, you were way overconfident. Everyone knew it except for you and you paid the price. 
Now can you come back? And you were saying, you know, she has that skill set where if she just plays it the right way, she could win. So, I mean, that's kind of makes it makes the second the the rematch even more exciting than this one where people were like, she's going to be done in 15 seconds. And even Holly Holmes, I read some comments where she was like, I was crying while I was training. I was so nervous about this. I was having mental breakdowns thinking about you could this see fight. her shaking while she was getting like put well, the Vaseline well, on her eyes. Yeah, like, you could see her was, shaking. Her, yeah. Even her abs yeah. were like vibrating. Yeah. Yeah. She was like she had so much adrenaline. She going. was going. Was a, she was going up against the goddess. I mean, yeah. that's because it's built yeah. up. Like she's going to break my arm. I'm right. going to be out in 15 seconds. Lo and behold, what happened? So that makes this rematch really exciting, and it also, I think it keeps both of their careers kind of vibrant in this weird way until the rematch happens. David, let me ask you this. Right now, the story is the right. story. I mean, obviously, Ronda Rousey was never getting movie deals because of her acting skill. Mm -hmm. It was because of the interest in her. What weighs more heavily right now? Do you think with a loss and that image being shattered, do you think the public interest is still there enough to make these movies, or do you think the story is still interesting enough? Is the, is the story itself more interesting to still make these movies? How do you think this is affecting the movie career right now? Right now, we're in act two. This right. is gonna be a great biopic. This is act two right now. Mm. This is what she does is her come up, she comes up against this force, she's knocked out. What does she do later? I think, John, I think you're right. Right now, it's gonna be maybe delayed for a little bit. But I think this is a perfect writing opportunity, a perfect story for Act Two. People love more than anything than a success story. People love a comeback, comeback story. Stories, Everybody loves a yep. comeback story. Even I'm, I, I follow golf. Tiger Woods has been kind of going down and out for a long time now, you know. But the thing is, when he's on in a tournament, it's amped. There's more attendance. The numbers are better on TV. Even now, people are interested. Even if they see him fail or succeed, greatness only comes around every now and again. Yeah. Tiger Woods is arguably one of the greatest golfers of all time outside of Jack and Arnie. Mm -hmm. And when you watch Tiger, you want to see, like, maybe he can capture that greatness again. You want to see the opportunity because we're so attracted to greatness. Michael Jordan goes away for a year, plays baseball, sucks at it. I, know, I mean, right? honestly, you give him credit. No. He did well for not, you know, being a professional yeah. baseball player, but right. he wasn't great. How did he even get in? They were like, it's Michael Jordan, just let him right. play. Right. He comes <laughs> back, new yeah. number, number four. 45, you know, I mean, but you watch that because, like, that guy's great. Yeah. Rhonda is great. People will tune in to see what she does because they want to see how she recovers. The recovery story, the comeback story, is almost better than the success story of all those wins. Mm. That's why I think she's more interesting right now. Floyd Money Mayweather can laugh and all he wants, but Rhonda's more interesting than Floyd Money Mayweather because now she's up against the wall and she has to come back from that. Floyd can laugh all he wants. I don't really care about him. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.